I will not split my ugali into small pieces. I am an African girl, so I have to eat using my hands. This is how we eat ugali. I will not pretend it is very hot. That's why I've taken the small one because it is very hot. I don't pretend while eating. No slay queen thing here. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is very hot, so I'm still taking this small capiz, but in real life, I'm going to show you how I usually scoop my ugal. This one, is, I have to make it in a nice thing, bowl. See, just see, just see. This soup, it is because of the groundnut that has given it the datka soup. The meat. Let me put there. Where will I put my bones? Mm -mm. I'll put there. My goodness, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Hi everybody, how are you doing? Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Anne. And if you're coming back, thank you for coming back again to watch my video. Make sure you watch this video until the end because we are going to be cooking fish. Not the normal fish, but most people that most people know. This today is a different fish. Don't mind my eyebrows because I was only lazing in the house and I was trying to do something constructive. Then I decided, let me also learn how to draw it. That's why they look the way you can see they look like. So, without talking too much, let's get direct into my kitchen and let's cook something. So guys, I want to take you through today's ingredients. Number one, here with me, I have the main thing that I'm going to cook. These are the fish. These are dry fish. As you can see, they are dry. They are, if I'm not wrong, they are taken from the river. Then they are being sand dried. Or, but this one, this looks smoke from the, it, it was being sun dried using smoke. You know, most of us we are used to this fried with the, the one that has been fried with with oil direct, but these one are the one which are really really dry. As you can see, I don't know how to call them. Are this mbota or ngenge? Drop a comment in the comment section. Yeah. So because we, we are used to fresh fresh fish. That one that has been put into the hot oil. So then I decided to go and look for this dry fish so that I can tell you how it is being prepared. I don't know if you are ready. So these are the three fish. I did not buy too much of them because I don't have a big family that will consume a lot of them. And I don't want it in my house because of the smell. It might bring the, the unwanted ants in my house or even the 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 inzi if i may say then also this one this one is the one that after being removed from the from the river or the lake where they are usually fish them out they just remove the inner parts then it is being dried this one i think it is used only sun and salt when you are cooking this one that i'm holding this type of fish do not add salt because already it has been preserved using salt so if you add salt you will not eat your food you will throw it away because it is all has been preserved using salt and sun so it won't it's it has been removed the scales some inside here as you can compare for those who have ever eaten fish so this is what we have for today but because i don't have that big family i will not prepare this one but if you want me to teach you how to prepare this one 
please drop a comment in the comment section and it is my pleasure to do it for you guys so i'm not gonna cook this one today so this is what i'm gonna cook because it is only me in the house today yeah so today it is just me in the house so i'm gonna prepare these three so when it will be ready it will be ready as you can see they're not too big i'm gonna prepare these three i don't you waste my ingredients just to prepare one fish no i'm gonna prepare the three of them if it will be difficult for me to finish i will look for an alternative rather than throwing them away so when i went to buy the, that's those i also came across this omena then i also bought these omena these are the small fish hmm? these are the small fish which they are called omena from today my good people this is omena these are the small fish most people fear them because the as you can see that they those eyes are looking at them kindly please don't fear these fish you don't know how sweet these things are these are small omena they are very very delicious i love them now when i was going to buy these fish i saw this then i bought all of them there are too many it will not get bad i know somebody is now starting to to gaze all these things will you finish no um with the place where i'm staying i'll be sun drying them so that it will not go bad it can stay i can stay with it even for one year without going bad so i will be taking it to sun dry it so that it will not go bad but if you also want me to prepare this recipe of omena just drop a comment anything for you my viewers so this is omena i'm not gonna be cooking them but i was, it, I was only showing you I, my ingredients so this is what i'm going to cook i have oil over here i have salt i have salt i have onions this is one big onion then i have some two cubes over here then i have one this is one tomato i'm not going to be using a lot of tomato because make sure you watch this video until then because you will know why i am not using a lot of tomatoes in preparing this fish or in this recipe then i have here pili pili ho ho over here don't mind that is my sink yeah this is my pili pili ho ho then we have the near leaves these are just leaves don't put the stem I hope you have understood it just the leaves then i have a water over here i'm going to it is cold water but for me i'm gonna boil it so that i'll be using washing these fish you know you have to wash this fish because you can see this it was used smoke for it is they use smoke to preserve them yeah then i also have here groundnuts I don't know if it is really groundnuts. You know these nuts things, eh? Yeah, but I hope these are groundnuts. As you can see, they are not ready. I'm um, going also to prepare this. This is gonna be added into this fish. I don't know. Somebody is wondering how. Make sure you watch this video until the end so that you can know why I have these groundnuts over here and these groundnuts are not ready and it has just been bought from the supermarket so i'm gonna be preparing them and i'll show you how i'm gonna prepare them until it gets into the last step when i will be going to be to add into these fish over here so this is just what i'm gonna be using to grind my my groundnuts then this is the spoon that i use it to scoop from here to place it into the sufuria so the first step we're gonna be using i'm gonna light my fire over here i have two sufurias this one is the one i'm gonna be using to burn my to to warm the water for washing the fish then this one i'm gonna be using it to prepare these groundnuts yeah from where we had started explaining these ingredients until where you have we have reached please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section let's light the fire direct i forgot to remove um, match the match sticks from here so i'm gonna be rem removing them so that we're gonna light the fire oops here yeah. don't mind so I want to light this fire so that we can start from there. So guys, my f I have lighted the fire. I want to confirm if 
I want it to dry. Yeah, as you can see, it is drying. So at that point, I will be putting my water to boil from here. This is the water that I'll be going to use it while washing my fish. So let's wash this. I prefer washing everything that I cook because of dust. Even if I be removing, even if I remove the cover, these red things I'll be rem I'll remove them. So I have to wash. Then I have to add some salt. You know, you cannot, you cannot just do that. So this is how I am preparing these groundnuts. As my water is 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 being warming up here, let me prepare this. After I have finished to prepare this dish, I'm telling you, you will be cooking it right every time because it is the best. For those people who usually just consume groundnuts and they don't know how it is being prepared so this is how it's being prepared you wash it put it in a sukuria add salt then the magic happens until you feel when you taste it you feel it it is ready you have to put small heat so that it cannot burn yeah I think it is ready. I will let them to cool because it is very, very hot. I can't remove this. So this is what I was telling about. All of them, they have to turn to this to look like these are very hot. So you can see I'm doing like this. So let me let them cool. Then we will prepare them together. As I wait my water over here to get ready, let me close this. Yeah, let's wait the water to get ready. Then we start cooking. As I prepare these. So guys, this is what I was telling you. We have to remove these. It is still hot. That's why it is not getting very fast. But when you let it to cool, it just gets out very fast. Yeah, this is actually what I'm trying to tell to show you, but I'm gonna finish it behind the camera. So yeah, just remove it. Yeah, you can see it is trying to to come out. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. The more they continue to cool down, the more these things it is easy to remove them. For those one who have eaten groundnuts, they understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. You um, I hope you watch this video until the end because I don't know if you are ready for the final results. You're gonna love it. Yeah. This recipe is very easy. Make sure you try these things, you know. Don't just eat food in the way you love it. Sometimes it is good to try something new. For me, I usually try everything new. If it backfires, I throw them. If it comes with good taste, I eat. I love trying. I love trying. So let me continue removing them behind the camera. Then I will be right back as we grind them together. Yeah. No, 
not yet ready. It's very very hot so let's allow it it is very very hot we have to wash it with hot water very hot water yeah so let's start cooking our onions as we let them soak so that it can be easy to wash i don't use a lot of oil that is enough. Don't turn the onions up and down. Why are you disturbing the onions? The onions are already in a in a hot oil. It will just get ready. So I me, mean, I don't like turning, turning them like this, no? Because that's why they are in, on fire. Just let them cook. Just make sure everything is, it is in the oil. Don't leave it to get ready. I will wash my fish. Very hot. I'm gonna eat this fish. <laughs> I don't know if it is ready for me. I had already washed, so the head has just removed. This water, this water was too hot. The head, we are, we don't have the head that with this fish. But I will not throw it. I have just to cook, just to just to make that soup with it. So this water, I'm just gonna pour it there. Yeah, let's check our onions. You don't. You just turn them, then leave them to cook for themselves that's why we have placed them on fire this one i think i'm done with it as i continue to grind my groundnuts because they are not yet ready they're smelling very as you can see we're almost getting like a small thing I don't want them to burn. I think this fire is too much. I don't want them to turn to golden brown. You just prepare the onions the way you love it. At this point, there is no making them turn golden brown or anything. Just the way you love it. I'm gonna be adding my my.
those are my cohorts yeah. onions will just cook for themselves so just make sure you have everything is in touch with the oil then let them to cook for themselves yeah. Back here. Let's check. Don't complain why my food has little kitungu, little hoho and the tomatoes because I'm gonna be using my ground nuts. That's why I've place it to be small tomato so at this point i add my salt me with salt i only use ice you know this is where you use your eyes so i think that is enough mix add your cubes i like breaking them You squeeze it the way you love it. Two cubic cubes, sorry. Now at this point. You can see, I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing. I'm replacing my fish inside. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Are you seeing what the Lord has done? I think I will not place this head. Just this way is just enough. Then I'm gonna add water. This is warm water, but you can add any. Don't you worry. Remember, at this point, I've not yet added my. I've not yet added my groundnuts at this point, and I've also not added my. My coriander at this point let them cook let me add a lot of a small fire let them cook then I want to cover it then we'll, we'll see what to do about it Cover. I think I have to place my ugali over here so that they get ready at the same time so that I can show you the final results together but at this point, I think these groundnuts, they are ready. For me, it is ready. So, I'll show you the right time to add these. Yeah, let's give them some time to cook as I prepare to put my ugali on the fire. with water this is cold water sorry
fruiting here is natural no chemicals here i've just prepared it natural no chemicals i'm trying to blend it with water make sure you watch until the end this video to know how it's gonna go did what i was talking about you can see it looks like baby porridge but it is not baby porridge confirm if it has reached the point of adding the groundnuts I think it is the point of adding the, my groundnuts this is what we are going to do this is the groundnut so this is what I'm gonna do the reason of adding this groundnut is that I don't want this watery soup I want a thick soup so this is the secret why I was adding this I want a thick soup very very thick soup I want a very thick soup in my food very thick soup You will see the final results. Make sure to keep locked. I don't let anything into it. I have to rinse it. Everything. Nothing goes into waste in my house. Nothing goes into waste. Yeah, so let's give it time to cook, then we will come back. Okay, the aroma inside my house is making me not to be, to be patient to wait for my ugali to get ready. So I added... I added some flour on top so that it can so that I can identify if my my water is ready as you can see it has started to get ready this is one of the method to identify if your water that you are using to cook ugali is ready by right? you just take you just take the flour let me show you what I'm talking about in practical so this this is the flour this is the scooper that I used to scoop flour. Then you just do this to identify if your girl is ready or not. So as you can see, it is getting ready. At this point, it's not yet ready. Let me let it just cook very well so that I don't prepare ugali that it is not good. If you start cooking when it is not ready, it will give you ugalimbichi the one that is not ready the one when you taste it not sweet yeah so as you can see at this point i'm gonna add my flour and start the magic so i'm gonna be adding i have added i have added flour there i'm gonna be adding my hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. I'm adding coriander. Hallelujah. Eish, eish. Eish, 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 this is ready i'm gonna close my my fire over here cover the food let me prepare the ugali
kindly don't start telling me oh you're cooking a lot of ugali oh yeah i have to cook and eat I will not split my ugali into small pieces. I am an African girl, so I have to eat using my hands. This is how we eat ugali. I will not pretend it is very hot. That's why I've taken the small one because it is very hot. I don't pretend while eating. No slay queen thing here. Oh my goodness it is very hard so i'm still taking this small piece but in real life i'm gonna show you how i usually scoop my girl this one is, i have to make it in a nice thing ball see just see just see this soup it is because of the groundnut that has given it the that soup meat uh. mm, 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 mm. Mm. let me put there where will i put my bones mm -mm. i'll put there my goodness my goodness mm, mm, mm. So guys, this is the final results. Nothing remaining. The bones are there. I've only eaten one piece of avocado because I'm full. <sighs> I finished to garlic. I know hey, the place is empty. Even this one is empty. Hmm? I've only taken one piece of avocado because I'm full. Let me also add water to make this digestion complete. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell and let bell and let's meet in the next video remember if you want me also to cook the other fish just drop a comment and i'll do it for you bye